hi everyone welcome back to my channel so today we are going to do another unboxing and i'm pretty sure you know what it is because of the title so without any further ado let's do it Here you go guys, this is my first unit of KitchenAid. It is the KitchenAid Classic Tilt Head Stand Mixer. It is 4.5 quart and it's in my favorite color white. Let's go ahead and see what's inside the box. The stand mixer comes in different sizes but this one is the most popular for home use. So when you purchase a KitchenAid mixer, you know it will last a very long time. So this is what it looks like inside. There is a manual and you can see all the attachment that you can buy it separately from the store. There's a lot of different colors of bowls and sizes as well. It is the less expensive of the KitchenAid mixers and it is under $400. Generally, it retails for about $399 Canadian without any sales or coupon, but this one I got it on sale for $300. It comes in color white and a black. If you cook and bake a lot, this is best left in your counter. I don't mind leaving it on the counter because it's a beautiful machine. This machine itself is very heavy, so you might need help or ask someone for help to take it out from the box. Here we go guys, this is how it looks like after taking out from the box. It comes with a manual and the unit measures 13.9 inches tall, 8.7 inches wide, and 4.9 inches deep. Since it weighs 25 pounds, it's best to find a permanent place for it on your countertop. It comes with a stainless steel 4.5 quart mixing bowl. 6 wire whip, nylon coated or flat beater, nylon coated dough hook, and instruction manual with a speed control guide. Good tips of and lots of recipes. It also comes with a piece of warranty note. You can put all your information in there and send it back to KitchenAid or you can register your unit online as well. Just simply tilt the head to attach the paddle, the whisk, or the dough hook. This is very easy to use and to remove and put it back the attachment. The head part is heavy and very durable. The mixer is 275 watts and has 10 speeds. This kitchen aid has 10 speeds. Use the lowest setting for steering and the fastest for whipping. And screw the attachment now. Remove the plate and you can attach any kitchen aid stand mixer attachment like a food grinder, pasta roller or slicer and a shutter. Slide the lever and a head tilt, slide it back to the lock and head before using the mixer. There is adjustable screw here in your beater hits the bottom of the bowl or it's too far away from the bowl. Flat beater is generally what you use most for cookie dough, cake batters, and pie crust. The dough hook is for bread and rolls. The coated dough hook and flat beater are dishwasher safe. The six wire whip is hand wash only. The mixer is 275 watts and has 10 speeds.
Let's take a look at closely again with my KitchenAid Classic Tilt Head Stand Mixer. It's so pretty. It comes with a paddle, the wire whip for making creams, and the tow hook for making pizza. It comes with a manual of registration and attachment. Now there are many different kinds of attachments you can buy separately for the mixer. There is a food grinder, a juicer, a strainer attachment, slicing, shredder attachment, pasta roller, and cutter. You can grind your own meat which is much safer than buying ground meat from the store because you don't know what goes into the mixer. Baby food and make your own fresh pasta in minutes. There's even an ice cream maker attachment, so this is pretty much an all-in-one machine for cooking and baking needs. So let's go ahead into the demo. The paddle is what you'll be using most. It's perfect for making muffins, cakes, and any kind of butter. Also frosting for cakes. You can make large batches of cookie dough and pie dough very quickly with the paddle. The wire whip is for making whipped cream, whipping eggs, and mayonnaise dough hook is great for pizza and a bread dough so right now i'm using the paddle and i'm making a cookie dough so for now i'm just making a cookie dough using the paddle to show you how the mixer performs the attachments rotates around a bowl so the ingredients are mixed evenly and thoroughly As I've been trying the flat beater and I'll make a cookie dough with a walnuts and chocolate chips. This is a two stick of soft butter and cream that on speed to and I added sugar that cream beautifully and added two eggs one at a time and vanilla. The kitchen aid stand mixer is a true workhorse. It will make your cooking and baking much easier saving your time and effort once this is in your kitchen you will use it because it's so easy although you spend some money up front it will last you for a long time and making it a very good value as always i hope this video was helpful give it a thumbs up if you like the video subscribe and i'll see you on my next one thanks for watching